Homily of the first Sunday of Lent ye be, resisting temptation. Since last Wednesday, that is Ash Wednesday, we began a very important period in the church, the period of Lent. Lent is a penitential season of 40 days spent in preparation for Easter. 40 is a symbolic number indicating a special time of preparation before a substantial meeting with God. The ashes we received at the beginning of this period remind us that our bodies are made of dust, Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, and upon dust and upon death they return to dust and ashes, Genesis chapter 18 verse 17. During this time, Emphasis will be made on conversion, on prayer, on fasting, and on almsgiving. This will empower us to fight against temptation. The first Sunday of Lent generally focuses on the theme of the temptation of Jesus. The account of the temptation we are given in the Gospel of Mark reads almost like a telegram. It sounds staccato. There are just two verses compared to the lengthier and fuller 11 verses of Matthew and the 13 verses of the Gospel of Luke. Mark does not bother about the content of the various temptations. He simply states the fact bluntly. He remained 40 days and was tempted by Satan. The wild beasts are traditional symbols of evil, and like Satan, they are prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour, looking for any signs of weakness. The Gospel of Mark underlines the theme of 40 days. Just as Jesus was tempted in the desert for 40 days, we too are taking a period of 40 days to enable us to resist temptations just like Jesus. Therefore, in the face of these temptations undergone by Jesus, the majority of us would have not even resisted, even for a minute. Much more, we would have justified our decisions with so many excuses, so that we would be convinced of having made the good choice. Which human being can resist temptation that offers us power, and dominion and wealth, very few people will do that. The politicians, the businessmen may understand this better and could be in the best position to explain it to us. We should learn that evil has its nest in our hearts. It does not come from outside. We do not have another solution but to open our hearts to the presence of God so that he will save us. The church gives us this liturgical season to help us to endure the time of testing whenever it comes. In this season of Lent, we are invited to undergo some small hardship as a spiritual exercise, as a strengthening, and as a preparation for the real time of testing that awaits us. We are encouraged to resist temptation. We can go back to the Pope's letter of Lent, the Pope's message in 2015. He said, it is possible by following these words, make your heart firm. James chapter five, verse eight. May almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.
Sí.